hello welcome back guys my name is Moin Akram and in this video we are going to make quattro graphics card in blender so just simply press 7 for top view and simply shift a add background image you can download the layout images from description okay download and import something like this okay the first image is here now select the image check on transparency and decrease the transparency select the solid cube click on this one and move and go to edit mode select this side and click on this one and move and align with the image okay something like this now just simply out from edit mode and click on this side or control number 3 Okay, now let's add another image this time this one now simply scale down and just leave around here to here okay now no 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 hmm transparency decrease okay now select the upper side bring it down around here select bring it down around here okay now press 7 click on solid view go to edit mode click on a select mode select these four edges and uh, simply press ctrl p to make bevel around here and increase the segments value maybe that's enough okay I think that's enough now press 7 shift a but before click and click so the world origin around here okay now press 7 shift a add cube now follow my instruction just simply scale down we are going to make this green line scale down scale up and leave here select the side and grab okay grab and leave here and extrude and leave here now select the bottom side and bring select and extrude select and extrude Okay. Now click on this one and press Ctrl V. But before I think, do this. Hmm. Click on this one and Ctrl V. Also, let's come over here. Ctrl V. Select Ctrl V. Okay. Solid view and look at this it's looking nice now press 7 let's add another cube and go to Wi-Fi mode scale down scale down and align with this notch or anything we call around here okay extrude extrude 
leave around here and align okay now let's come over here press control B and control B solid view okay bring it up select modifier and boolean modifier and okay it's working let's come over here we put display bounds okay I think it's fine now apply and hide this one okay okay it doesn't matter just simply leave here okay this gave it a uh, new material anything we call also this one a new material okay now let's add a cylinder around here with 100 vertices I think 150 okay now simply drag and align with the fan okay bring it up select modify boolean and apply now scale down scale up and leave here bring it down something like this and press control R leave here alt left click extrude on shift Z okay now alt left click let's just give it new material and assign this one black okay now select the upper face and press ctrl B to make bevel a little bit now S select mode and press ctrl B to make bevel okay looking very nice alt left click and alt left click press ctrl B to make bevel Okay, looking very very nice now let's add another cylinder this time only 70 vertices okay now scale down this cylinder is for the bolts okay these are the bolts everybody know about bolts okay now let's add array modifier on three times one more time on I think y axis okay relative offset leave around here let's come over here and change this one also what's happening oh it's coming 
there it is around here okay solid view now let's go to here alt left click this select the face press i on keyboard and extrude I think around here okay it doesn't matter okay now modify boolean modify and apply shift D to double no 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 not shift D just simply grab and cancel this one modifier this modifier press 7 and align with this bolt okay doesn't matter now select boolean modifier take an knife tool and apply but there is one thing you need to apply the same modifier around here so just select boolean and apply now it's working okay now let's add bolts so shift a add mesh and click on bolt if you couldn't find bolt option around here go to preferences and you need to enable all the add-ins or yes all the add-ins and also check out my extra features in blender video on my channel so you can understand now select bolt change none to Phillips hex to counter strike and decrease the thread length okay increase the bit dive diameter okay around here give this a new material and scale down and press 7 and scale down and just simply grab go to wireframe mode scale down and align okay let's add array modifier three counts Okay. Now shift D on Y axis. Okay, go to solid view apply this modifier and go to edit mode go to wireframe mode select and bring it down but before select these bolts and down okay now it's time to Wi-Fi mode select and bring it down little bit around here okay now let's select the bolt shift D to duplicate and 0 and 1 press 7 grab on x axis and leave here
I think leave around here okay now let's save the project file okay so guys I think our first part of video tutorial is completed so see you soon in the next part of quadro graphics card tutorial so stay tuned with me and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell okay so goodbye guys and see you around